How do you define the best athlete? For many, sheer physical strength may be the key factor, like a bodybuilder demonstrating inhuman levels of strength by lifting impossibly heavy weights. Maybe it could be speed, the sheer brilliance of seeing Usain Bolt in his prime, treading hundreds of meters like it's nothing. Perhaps mental toughness, like staying vigilant in a car going hundreds of miles per hour for hours at a time. But most people would say that the best athlete demonstrates a combination of these traits. Take someone like DK Metcalf, who's the perfect combination of a cheetah and a freight train. Or maybe someone like Nikola Jokic, whose sheer presence on the court may distract you from the beautiful passes he's capable of making. But I would argue that there's one game that exemplifies all those traits better than any other. And it's a game we have been playing since we were on the playground. Tag. Hey! <laughs> we're gonna teach you guys something awesome. We're gonna show you guys how to play tag. I don't care if you're from Uruguay or the USA, everyone has played tag to some capacity. Chasing each other in the middle of a field or playground is a staple of childhood so universal, I don't even need to give you a specific definition. It's a game PE teachers loved and school nurses hated. But, of course, the idea of standardizing tag is a ridiculous one. It's a game meant to last forever so that the coach can sit on the side of the field and act weird to your English teacher. So while tag may be universal and may be fun, nobody in their right mind would ever dream to make a professional sport out of it. Or... At least I would have said that a couple of months ago. But that was before I discovered World Chase Tag. World Chase Tag is a global circuit dedicated to creating universal rules and competitions for competitive tag. And if you're anything like me, I know that that idea either sparked a laugh out of you or a stab of curiosity, or maybe a bit of both. But trust me when I say that this new sport on the block is one of the most entertaining pieces of media ever created, and is bound to be successful in the future of sportscasting for years to come. But, of course, in order to talk about that, we have to talk about the crazy people who thought this idea up. Christian and Damien DeVoe are not initially who you would think to be at the forefront of a sporting revolution. Two brothers from England whose primary focus and career wasn't anywhere near sports or anything of the like. It would be fair to say that making tag a professional sport was not on the childhood fantasy board for either of them. That of course changed when they had children of their own and began playing games with them and became more focused on the competition of it than other normal and more sane people would. Basically we got two iPhones, um, one that counted down a minute and then the other one was someone would wait on the touchline and they would just um, press start and stop every time one of the athletes, um, one of the competitors was on tag. And I thought, wow, that would be really good. Imagine if you had like elite level athletes playing that, that would just look awesome, you know? And that's what they did. Simply by marketing local events on their Facebook pages, standardizing rules and networking with local brands, what was initially a fantasy in the minds of two brothers had become something played on a major sports station all around the world. And that's no exaggeration. World Chase Tag is now a prominent feature on channels like NBC in the US and Channel 4 in the UK, a far reality from the initial playground bouts between father and son. But, of course, that could not be an easy task to accomplish. So how does one even make tag into something that can have a quantifiable winner and loser? I mean, on the playground it just seemed to go on endlessly until the bell rang or kids felt too tired to keep going. So there wasn't really a definition for who won and lost. More than that though came with the problem of defining the arena. Was the arena meant to be the exact same or could it change depending on the venue? Much like how the sizes of soccer stadiums are dependent on arena sizes in many cases. These were some of the questions that the DeVoe brothers had to face when trying to make this sport a reality and they came to a couple of conclusions. The first being that in order for World Chase Tag to be recognized in a professional way, it had to be clearly defined in how it handles its events. This means that the arena, the obstacles, everything must be standardized for any World Chase Tag event. The second being that the rules of the circuit would be clearly defined as to add professionalism to the sport, while also fluid enough to retain the initial childhood feeling of playing tag with friends. While there are many different modes that World Chase Tag operates under, let's take a look at the standard rules of its most popular game mode, the Chase Off. Each team has four players. 
Each chase lasts 20 seconds, and has one chaser, and one evader. Whoever wins, stays on as the evader. And you get one point for every evasion you make. Pretty simple, right? And that probably contributes to the success it's gotten online. Unlike other sports that take time to understand, or even esports that take 18 strategy guides to get, Chase Tag thrives off its simplicity and ability to appeal to everyone. In reality, anyone can get a team together and start playing World Chase Tag. And yet, while that is true, not everyone has the ability to be the best. Like any professional sport, only a few are able to scratch the conversation of the best to do it. And while there are plenty of people that are up for debate in the World Chase Tag community for that title, one name that consistently comes up is the one and only Kyle Soderman. Soderman makes a dash for it, and it's another point for Kyle Soderman. And he does, but Soderman's away, and over by the ridge, and he doubles up. Side. We've never seen somebody win four points in a row, but that's just happened! Unprecedented! He... If you want to talk about the world of World Chase Tag, you have to talk about Kyle Soderman. On forums, on podcasts, on anything resembling a conversation, Kyle Soderman is one of, if not, the best evaders the game has seen since its founding, as well as being in one of the most decorated teams in the U.S. circuit, Hollywood Freerunners. But World Chase Tag is not Kyle's first time on the big stage. If his name sounds familiar to anyone watching, it probably comes from his sheer dominance on American Ninja Warrior, where he shocked everyone in a performance nobody could have expected. It should have been clear at that point to everyone that this guy is not someone to mess with. Everything about this run seems so effortless, despite the fact that these are some of the hardest activities someone could physically do. It's clear that Soderman's time at this, as well as his background in other stunt work, puts him in a great spot to be an elite competitor in this brand new sport. It's not hard to see why Soderman is so lethal in the arena. First of all, like many professional athletes, his workout regime is incredibly rigorous. Here's him talking about how many pull-ups he had to do in a single session to prepare for some of the stunts he performs. How many pull-ups do you do on an average day? Yesterday we did mm. about like 300, 400. Good. A couple, <laughs> three or 400 probably. <laughs> that was like our warm-up though. So. Wait, 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 audience, you were clapping. You didn't hear it. Kyle just said, that's the warm-up. That's the warm-up. The scariest part of that clip is, even though it seems to be played off as a joke in the eyes of themselves and the audience, there seems to be an aura about how he talks about it that screams, no, I am being serious. This is what it takes to be great. When you see him in the arena, it's clear why he holds the world record for the most consecutive evasions. His game sense is simply higher than most other competitors, and it shows in the fast-paced decisions you have to make in that arena. In World Chase Tag, every single possible choice can be the difference between a win or a loss, so no single second can be afforded to be lost, and Kyle Soderman demonstrates this fact better than anyone else. Though he's in constant sprint for most of the 20 seconds, he barely has to look in front of him to know where he's going. This is the mark of someone that has a fundamental understanding of the field he's playing at, its nature, and everything he can do at any point barely any uncertainty in the decision he makes. This gets him to be the first person to score four points in a row in a single match, then five, and then six, a record only topped by Xavier Gonzalez in his record-breaking run that physically cannot be broken in the cool current rules of the game. Hollywood Freerunners ends up winning this match six to three, and all points scored were off of the work that Kyle Soderman put on the big stage. So it's clear. World Chase Tag creates big competitors competing at an incredibly high level. These competitors, often coming from a background of parkour and stunt work, have nearly unstoppable physical work, as well as a heavy mental challenge to battle every 20 seconds they are in the ring. But this can be said about most sports. Athletes in American football have to pull off incredibly difficult feats of strength and speed in order to be the best. And the NBA is well known for the quick decision making that results in tight maneuvers and smooth decision making. What makes World Chase Tag so different? Why is it that I say that World Chase Tag is one of the greatest modern sports? Well, the answer is quite simple. It's because it's faster than anything else.
Here's a very obvious fact. Sporting events are freaking long. If you're watching on the TV like any reasonable person who can't afford to go in person, the average amount of time for a full game of American football to run is 3 hours and 12 minutes, longer than most movies. And most of that isn't even the game itself. There's a reason why these games seem to be getting longer and longer. Commercial time. Pre-game show? Ads. During the game? Ads. Halftime? Almost more known for its ads than anything else. The fact that every single major sport continues to get longer as more and more time is padded to account for ad revenue. So what do most people who don't have time to sit down and watch a full game do? Look at highlights. Take YouTuber Flight Reacts, a prominent member of the online community known for his interesting takes on basketball. A large majority of his job on this site is sitting down and watching NBA highlights and reacting to them. And what does he say before most reactions? Watch the full sports games because I have a life. The fact is, short form, fast paced content is the future of entertainment. The rise of TikTok and every other social media company trying to do the same thing is evident of that. Yet, as the everyday person's attention span gets shorter and shorter, traditional media and the sports surrounding it get longer and longer. This is where World Chase Tag has an advantage. It was basically built for highlight reels. A typical match of World Chase Tag will go as long as 15 rounds, with each round being 20 seconds at its longest. This means that while other sports are nearly 40 to 60 minutes of game time, the longest match of World Chase Tag will go on for 5 minutes, if that. So even if we were to add commercials into this equation, the time it takes to watch a match of Tag is significantly lower than any other competitive sport out there right now. For a generation that thrives off of short form content, this design is phenomenal for viewer attention and retention, exactly what you need when you are getting your name out there for a new sport. Hey, side note, no, I'm not saying that basketball games or football games need to be shorter or that they should change the rules to try and compete. It's just simply an advantage that Tag has that these other sports don't, and I feel it deserves to be pointed out. But it isn't even the fact that these matches are short that is the real kicker. It's the sheer volume of content in each match. Let's take a game of basketball. Here we see the Suns taking on the Mavericks in Game 7 of the NBA playoffs. Now you see that in the first quarter it's a relatively close game. The excitement from it being a tiebreaker is in and the teams are working hard against each other. And then as the game progresses, you hit a lull. One team is clearly being outplayed here. The score is widening and it's very clear that this is not a competition anymore. Now, because of where we are, the disparity is too big to catch up, but we still have all of this time to go. It's boring media now, and it's not entertaining. <laughs> Unless you're a masochist like me who enjoys being in pain and seeing my favorite basketball team get absolutely annihilated and not put any effort in at all. Like, honestly, look at these guys and tell me that they care. You can't. This is absolutely freaking ridiculous. I cannot believe that they would even get paid millions of dollars. With World Chase Tag, it's hard to find the same issue. The nature of the rounds, chasers, and evaders chasing brings enough interesting aspects into the five minute chunk you have in a match that it's incredibly hard to get bored. Add in the idea that people are watching these matches as highlights and you have yourself a sport that thrives off of peak moments and crazy events nearly all the way through. And so, you get moments like this. So what do you get when you combine a game that everyone knows, a standardized set of rules and athletes who are prepared to compete at the highest level? You get a professional circuit for Chase Tag, something that seemed to be unbelievable years ago. And yet, it seems like the internet is absolutely loving it. I think it really is telling that World Chase Tag is on the rise. We all want to see excitement, speed, and competition at the highest level. It's why sports are still a primary reason why people have cable. World ta Chase Tag just takes those aspects of athleticism, speed, and mental strength and cranks them up to 11, taking the everyday sport we grew up playing and putting it on crack. And ultimately, that leaves us with a product that is freaking fun to watch. So, if you're bored and are looking for a quick, exciting bit of madness, look into World Chase Tag. I promise you, it'll be a blast. Thanks for watching.